Welcome back. Episode 62 of this Let's Play Daft Mod Empire Total War, playing as Great Britain on the hard settings. Uh, so last time... Oh, yeah. Last time I... Uh, could have put my foot in my mouth, but we'll see by the end of this episode whether or not I'm a fool. <laughs> Which is quite possible. My nice shiny new 5th Brigade have been committed to a fight that they have no right in being committed to. Siege works underway. Your Majesty. Ready and awaiting orders. Settlement under siege. Hmm. There's um There's no making this polite, is there really? It's just gotta be done really. Really, really, really. So rather outnumbered, yeah, a couple of thousand mob, but they still need to be killed. One, two, three, four, sixteen hundred good quality melee infantry. Two thousand ish musketeers. Some big buggers and some of them. I'm going to deploy at the back because I've got to... Let's get this going anyway. Uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Obviously I'm going to be defensive here. <laughs> Goes without saying. <laughs> but um, I'm going to deploy at the back. <laughs> what a fool. What am I thinking? Um, because I've got to get my cannon on. Which is a problemo. So uh, hopefully I'll get my cannon on in place and unlimbered. In time, <laughs> in time to repel um, the main assault. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Best I get comfy for this one. <clears throat> and I'm comf. So, why haven't you finished loading yet? So basically the difference between the numbers in our two armies are the mob and a bit. Oh, okay, that's quite helpful in that it's going to break up their assault. What are they looking at when they look at me? <laughs> Apart from a fucking small army. <laughs> Alright, let's look at this. So, that's Natural defile. You're gonna be able to get up. Ooh, come on. So they can get up there, but it's gonna be very few troops. And there. So in theory I can create a sort of musket range is too big there, so I can create a nice killing ground here with two or three units really. That's impassable. And there's the flank. Okay, so the guns are probably... This is about midway, isn't it? Um, road. Let's have a thing. The guns are probably going to come on along the road, aren't they? So here. So they're actually a waste of time for anything other than canister. Okay, I'm going to start... Yeah, alright. Plan for me. Processing. So their assault has got to come here. Got to come across here. If I can get the cannons on and limbered up. Slight raise in the ground there, isn't there? There. This is going to be a nuisance to them. is that okay so I'll stick the new bods on this flank so 
look at your range with the intention of advancing to a line here when they do start their assault. To stand any chance, they've got to be there, haven't they, really? Any chance of um, making the musketry effective. Yeah, in which case the rest of the line will be... Probably along there. Uh, okay. So the flanks are likely to be hard pressed, we know this. This is likely to be the main assault, but if I don't give them, what do I? Do I give them a fighting front? There is a good argument for doing that, actually, isn't there? Where does the flank go out to? So this is the open flank, wide open. Where's the rear of the board? Ooh, Christ. Excuse me, talk amongst yourselves for a minute. I've got to try and give myself the best chance of survival, but frankly, I want to beat them. I have it in mind to beat them. As foolish as that may well sound on the surface. I think the East India Company boys. The sixth foot, the Warwick Shears. What's that? What have we done there? That. Well, this terrain isn't helping me actually, but that's quite an interesting flank there. Hmm. Musket line, really, if I'm going to stand any chance of beating them. I'm starting to think that I might actually deploy a bit further back. Bloody Nora, come on! Let me deploy. Thank you. The 
Black Watch will form my reserve. I've got cavalry coming on later, so for the time being I'll just... Deploy them, and Edu can just tuck at the back. <sighs> okay. Oh, you wanker! It's fucking bringing the artillery on there. <laughs> oh, you are a wanker, AI. I've got a rejig. Nobody pressing me at the minute, so that's okay. There's a bit of a natural flank guard. Massive pain in the arse when it does that. Not sure it meant to be that, but... Yes, well done AI, you succeeded. So we have, basically, shrapnel on this flank. Nothing else, just buckets and buckets of shrapnel. the way you want to do it, well, that's the way we'll have to do it. of salvation is good musket line. Okay, so they're still not really anywhere, are they? We're about done. We're about done. Thank you. 
Is there a chance that they're going to let me attack? You know, they might well do. What do we think? That would be nice. It's always a bit bit amusing to attack a significantly larger force, isn't it? Yes, Here's the edge of the board. Keeping an eye on these blobs down here, just in case they suddenly spring into life. <laughs> that could get awkward. So far they're not, are they? Well, well. but if I keep that formation up I might be lucky might just be that they're still fighting around oh yeah they're still fighting around so in which case two phase plan we look for an advance and an attack but prepare ourselves to deploy quite quickly They suddenly decide to lunge. Doesn't look like they will, but you never can tell, can you? The AI is a master of surprise. Not necessarily in a good way. All the time. Now, what's it doing? Reorganising again, or is it advancing? They're moving sideways, they're moving sideways, they're moving sideways. Nothing to really be concerned about at the moment, it would seem.
You know, the cavalry over there would be clever, really, wouldn't it? There's definitely some movement over there. No, they're still moving backwards and forwards. Okay, all my bods are moving into position. What have we got then? Let's have a look. So they're deploying over there. So I can carry on with this big, I don't know, is it an echelon I suppose? I don't know what you call it. Big wobbly move that way. Because they apparently aren't coming to engage me. For a second, I think he's left his mortars out. I'm going to have them. Where's the other gun? Imagine I'm going to come under fire from their moors at any point, at any minute. Still nobody breaking their line, they're still coming side to side. Retiring. Not retiring, but you know what I mean. Right, in which case they're definitely not coming for me, so um We want all the cannons on this ridge then this is a lot of fighting around, I've wasted nearly half the bloody game, um half the battle. Good thing is their mortars are behind sandbags, so their field of fire is very limited.
Ooh. Movement. Oh no, they're just realigning. I might. The sixth Bengal on the flank there. I might leave you to um advance along that axis actually. You're gonna take some mortar fire, but you might end up finding yourself on an open flank if you do. Start the bombardment. Where's the cab? if we can't plant a few shells. Shame I don't have quick lime. <laughs> or shrapnel shot. That would be a delight. Right, we got any any spiky bits? Um, what line did they originally deploy in? I think it was straight, wasn't it? So, any obvious spikes? Alright gentlemen, you have 30 minutes or 20 minutes to destroy a rather large army. <laughs> Along the lines of a say, send two European regiments in. <laughs> no, that's not my plan. Time for you two to run like fuck, I think. And I might bring the other cavalry over to support. Black Watch. We 
need as many muskets firing as possible, please, gentlemen. No, don't bother with them. Can't pick him apart. Good to start. Get in there. A good volley from the Black Watch. And I think, gentlemen, bayonets might be clever. Quick charge and recover. Good effort on the other flank from the Bengal boys. Break them. Good man. I think I need some cavalry to break through now. Shattered, good, right. No meds. You next. Hmm. <laughs> No business beating an army of this size that easily. I haven't done it yet, but you know, not looking bad, is it? Past the line. Time to retire you. Watch what advance. Six foot will advance. They may have just been ambushed. I wasn't paying attention. Ooh, 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 ooh. Then no surprises over there. Oop, wrong one. Who needs softening up?
Mm, they're shattered. Recover. Right, where's me cav over here? Need cav. Let's finish these fucking guns off, and you never know, gents, we might have them. <laughs> <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. You really have no business defeating an army that size that quickly. George, do them. Finish them. Any more? We sent that one packing, didn't we? Ooh. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> Crikey, ten minutes. So, who's left? You. by give it building captured who are you capturing a building for fucking nobbins oh they're one of those strange AI things isn't it is that them they all gone Anymore? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Apparently, yes. Oh, my Lord. Attacking 260. I'm quite pleased with myself there. Excuse me for saying. <sighs> Not a bad effort, gents. Not a bad effort. And that leaves two more Mughal provinces to capture. Obviously, if I can keep hold of this one, I'm being a bit ahead of myself. Wow. So we like that. So the 5th Brigade are doing rather well. And could be quite pleased for themselves. He was a bit leery, a bit busy, wasn't he? Yeah. So anyway, um, to save up and on about it, that's the end of this episode. And uh, <laughs> I'll be back for the next one soon. Tati, bye.